Good morning, my name is Dan, and today we'll be taking a look at Shipworks. Shipworks stands apart as a seamlessly integrated hybrid desktop cloud-based solution, which gives you the power of a desktop software with the flexibility of the cloud. Shipworks seamlessly integrates desktop and cloud apps in one powerful solution, which allows you to centralize and visualize data from all systems on our hub while printing with unmatched speed on the desktop. For this demo, I have set up Shipworks as if I'm the shipping manager of a multi-warehouse operation. We ship about a thousand packages of pet supplies per day. And as the regional shipping manager, I oversee three warehouses. We have one in New York, one is located in St. Louis, and the third is in California. Uh, we're looking at selling pet supplies on big commerce, and we consolidate other selling channels such as eBay and Amazon through Channel Advisor. And we need the ability to dynamically route orders so that they ship from the warehouse located closest to the customer ship to address. Let's start by taking a look at the hub. Uh, being cloud-based, we can access the hub from anywhere. It's where we consolidate all order data from all of our sales channels and where we configure warehouses so that orders can be dynamically routed to the correct locations. Since in our scenario, we ship pet supplies from the East Coast, the West Coast, and from the Midwest, I've configured my three warehouses in the hub and I've assigned the correct warehouses to the Shipwork software at each warehouse location so that orders are dynamically routed to the correct warehouses. So if we take a look at the software, since I manage the uh, St. Louis warehouse location in Shipwork software at the St. Louis warehouse, I have configured it so that it actually points to the St. Louis warehouse. What that does for me is any orders that come into the hub that have a ship to address closest to the St. Louis warehouse, those orders are automatically dynamically routed to my location and those orders will appear in the Shipwork software at the St. Louis warehouse. Same is true for New York or for California. Now, in my scenario, being the shipping manager, I travel extensively between all three warehouse locations. And while I'm there, I still need to be able to see all orders from all locations. I need to be able to monitor those and see what's going on with those orders and make sure that they're getting out the door in a timely manner. Well, that's, again, where the hub comes in. So with the hub, I can actually monitor and view all of the order information from all sources that are assigned to all warehouses. So just taking a real quick look here, again, we've got orders coming in from Channel Advisor from uh, Big Commerce, but we can also see to which warehouse those orders are routed to. And again, that's based upon the address. So if we take a real quick look here at the St. Louis address for this order, it was assigned automatically to the St. Louis warehouse. We've got orders in New York. Those were automatically routed to the New York warehouse. And I can also take a look at what status they're in, like awaiting fulfillment. Um, somebody voided this particular one. Some of them have already been shipped and so on. So again, I can gain access to all of those orders in the hub from anywhere that I am and actually monitor what's going on with all of my warehouse locations. As a side note, Shipworks is constantly adding new integrations, and many of those integrations, such as Channel Advisor, gives you the ability to route orders or to configure routing rules on their systems at their end. Whenever that occurs, Shipworks will integrate the ability to do that. So we can honor those rules. For example, if we look here at Channel Advisor, if I check that box, it'll actually honor any of the routing rules from Channel Advisor. So if I have specific orders that I need routed to a specific warehouse and I configure that on the integration side, on the channel advisor side, we'll honor those so that you don't have to redo those rules in Shipworks. So whenever we add new integrations that offer that ability, we will go ahead and incorporate that into our Shipworks solution as well. So let's circle back around to our scenario. We stock all of our pet supply products in all three warehouses, and we need a solution that will dynamically route those orders to the correct warehouse based upon which warehouse is closest to the customer ship to address. So taking a real quick look here, let's look at some of our orders and we'll just demonstrate kind of how that worked. Um, if we scroll down here, uh, let's take a look at 1162. So 1162 is an order that came in from Big Commerce. 
And if you take a look at the address here, this is actually our business address here in St. Louis. Um, this customer's address is closest to the St. Louis warehouse, so it was automatically routed there, whereas 1163 has an address in New York City, and that was routed automatically to New York warehouse. So to see that in action, let's just flip over to the software real quick. And if I try to pull up order number 1163, I shouldn't see that because it was routed to the software in New York. Where Whereas if I pull up order number 1162, we should have access to that order. That's in my system because I'm going to ship that from the St. Louis warehouse. But let's say that we have, we do have products that we only store and only ship from certain warehouses. Maybe, for example, we have a doggy surfboard that we only sell in the California area and we only ship from California because obviously we can't surf the Mississippi River here in St. Louis. Uh, we can do that as well. So we can route based upon products. So I'm going to switch over here to our product view. We have a products library in Shipworks. And what we can do is we can import certain products at certain warehouse locations and Shipworks is smart enough to dynamically look at that and go okay which warehouses actually stock these products and I need to dynamically route the orders that come in not based upon the address but based upon which warehouse has these products. So another nice thing about the product catalog is we can uh, s store weights, we can store dimensions, we can store product SKUs, we can store location numbers, uh, customs information, and all of that information can actually also be used in Shipworks to automate the shipping process. We can have Shipworks automatically populate those weights or customs details or any of that information when we're doing the shipping. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at how Shipworks dynamically routes orders to a particular warehouse, let's take a look at the desktop software at a warehouse location and at what that shipping and picking and packing process actually looks like. Uh, we do that in Shipworks using the scan to ship mode. Uh, as a side note, I have a barcode scanner hooked up to uh, Shipworks at the St. Louis warehouse. I've also got some branded packing slips that are have a, a barcode at the top here, and that barcode I can scan to pull an order up very, very quickly in the Shipwork software. I also have it configured so that anytime new orders are routed to the St. Louis uh, warehouse location, once they're imported into the software, it just prints off those packing slips for me so that I can just grab them, run out to the warehouse, start bringing up orders and starting to pick and pack. So flipping back over to the software here, I'm just going to go ahead and scan an, an order and pull that up into our pick and pack system here. And as you can see, it pulled up the orders on the, uh, sorry, the products on the left hand side. And what I can start to do now to make sure that I'm picking and packing not only the correct products, but the correct quantities, I can scan those. Uh, let's just scan one here. So you can see that it goes, hey, verify it. That, that product is correct. Whereas if I scan something that's incorrect, It'll tell me both visually and with audio feedback, oh, that was not correct. So I'm going to go ahead and just verify the rest of this order. So we've got a, a pup in the pup in a cup that I need to, to pull up here. So that's correct. And then we also have some puppy shampoo. Now you'll notice when I scan that one one time, I've still got two of them that I need to pick. Uh, so it's smart enough to know, hey, you, you got two more of these before this order is correct. So let's just go ahead and pick two more of those. And then it will give me visual feedback that, hey, we're good to go. That order has actually been picked and verified properly. One side note I'd like to mention when I displayed those packing slips a little bit earlier, these are branded for my brand, uh, but you can customize the templates in Shipworks uh, for whatever you need. So you can add your logos, you can modify the information that's viewed here, and of course our support team is more than happy to help you with that moving forward. But just know that all of our templates are completely customizable for branding it for your particular company. All right, let's flip back over to the Shipwork software. Uh, this order is verified. I'd like to mention one of the things we could have done is we could have Shipwork set up so that once the last product is scanned and the order becomes verified, Shipworks could just automatically print off a shipping label for us. That's great because it's fully automated. All I have to do is verify the order and it spits out the label for us. That does a couple of things. Number one, it, it really speeds up the shipping process. But again, if you, if you think about my scenario where I have three different warehouses and I probably 
probably have a lot of warehouse staff out there that's you know scanning and pulling orders and getting them out the door uh, having things fully automated really decreases the amount of time that it takes to train my staff in on our shipping process really all i have to do is train them to scan verify the order labels automatically print and things get out the door um, i did turn that off at my end i want us to be able to take a closer look at what the shipping process really looks like and what some of those automation features are so let's take a look on the ship tab is where we would actually process shipments and configure shipments. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is if you'll notice, this was automatically set to UPS and the service is set to UPS ground for the order that we just verified. The reason it did that is we have automation set up so that Shipworks looks at the requested shipping or the shipping method sent down from the, the sales channel and will automatically configure our shipment for that shipping method. Uh, in addition, it automatically pulled in the correct weight, it pulled in the dimensions. Uh, in in fact, everything you see on this screen can be automated. Uh, it can be as automated as you'd like or not. Um, if we pull up another order, we'll see that it will automatically look at that requested shipping, USPS Priority Mail, and it configures it to USPS Priority. I'm going to go ahead and flip back over to that other order. But for the sake of the argument here, let's assume that we ship with the big three. We use USPS, UPS, and FedEx, and we want Shipworks to automatically select the best shipping rate and service for us. Uh, we do offer uh, our best rate feature, which compares rates across our shipping carriers and selects the best rate for us, which over time can certainly add up to significant savings uh, on overall shipping costs. So let's just flip over to best rate here, and you'll notice that what Shipworks does does is it pulls in the rates we can see the rates from all of the different providers and services so we've got U UPS USPS FedEx but it automatically selected the least expensive rate here for us and again that could be a huge savings over what we had selected UPS ground while still having the same number of days in transit to our customer uh, so again that's a huge huge savings uh, feature in Shipworks having it automatically select the best rate for you I'm going to go ahead and leave best rate selected and just process this shipping label. We'll go ahead and process that, get a label printed off here, and then we'll take a look at our shipping history. Um, so it was processed successfully. The shipping history tab allows us to see all of the history for the currently logged in user. So the user that is logged in currently and working in Shipworks can see all of the shipments that they have done, and they can void a label or reprint the label, ship it again, and so on. Now, going back to my scenario of being the overall shipping manager here, maybe I need access to all of the orders that have been sent to the St. Louis warehouse, and I need to see uh, from all sales channels for any user that's logged in, I need to view those orders, look at the history, and have a little bit more feature set within Shipworks. Uh, I'm going to switch views here real quick in Shipworks, and this view is here to uh, allow us to view all of the shipment history. We can batch process orders, so if we want to ship multiple orders at once, we can do so. In, in this particular view. We also have access to all of the configuration and automati automation settings. So again, as a manager, I can go into this view and I have access to all of the feature sets that I need to have within Shipworks to automate the entire process. One powerful feature of Shipworks that I'd like to point out is our filters. Um, filters, think of filters as buckets that orders automatically get dumped into based upon conditions that you get to specify. Uh, let me show you an example. So we mentioned before that we have orders coming in both from Channel Visor and Big Commerce. I've got my orders automatically being dumped into buckets for those orders that came from Channel Advisor and from Big Commerce. I've gone even further and I have orders coming in that are ready to ship divided out by how they're supposed to ship priority mail priority mail express ups ground maybe i've got customers that want something second day it'll automatically sort those for us and what's great about that is we can build upon that to build the automation in shipworks we can set up those rules i mentioned before that say hey if it's in that priority mail bucket set it to priority mail if it is supposed to go second day error let's go ahead and automatically have shipworks set that service to us uh, ups second day error and so on so that really builds on the entire functionality and automation within the Shipwork software. 
Let's switch gears and talk about disaster recovery. We all know the downtime costs, so Shipworks makes that a priority. The ability to get back up and running as quickly as possible in the event that a disaster might happen. Uh, since we're looking at the software here, let's talk about it at the warehouse level in the software. One thing that can be done is an action, which really is just a way to automate many of the features of Shipworks. We can set up an action to automatically back up the local Shipworks database, and you can schedule it to run anytime, as often as you'd like, and you can tell it to back up to an external source. What's great about that is if something should happen at the warehouse level, you can very quickly just restore that backup. It only takes a few seconds truly to restore a backup into Shipworks, and then you're back up and running again. Now, the great thing, too, about Shipworks is because all of the orders from all sales channels for all warehouses go to the hub first, we take that burden of backing all of that data uh, off of your shoulders. It's in the cloud. We've got it backed up. So if something should happen at one warehouse or maybe even multiple warehouses, we still have all of that order information, including the order statuses, how they were shipped. All of that information is there. So when you're back up and ready, excuse me, back up and running at the local level, you just import that data from the cloud again, back down into Shipworks. And again, your data is there for you and you're back up and running very, very quickly. And lastly, I'd like to talk about the dashboard. So the Hub's dashboard provides you with insights for all shipping activity. It, it manages and analyzes order and shipment information from all of your warehouses for all sales channels and centralizes that into one dashboard. It allows you to identify sales trends, maybe bottlenecks, extra expenses, and so on. And there's a couple of different dashboards that you can view. Uh, I've pulled up the shipping costs, but we also have a workforce productivity. And for either of those, we can change what we're viewing. We can look at it hourly or daily or weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and so on, or we can specify a particular date range. As another side note, I'd like to mention that if there's specific reporting you need either from the Shipwork software, the desktop software, or from the Hub dashboard, uh, we are more than happy to work with you to make sure that you get the information that you need. So that's everything I wanted to cover in the demo today. I will open the floor to questions here in just a moment, but I'd like to mention that we've been the industry leading shipping software for nearly 20 years. Uh, we've been listening closely to shippers like you for almost two decades. And with your help, we've set the standard in optimizing and streamlining shipping workflows for thousands of companies. I'd also like to mention that when you sign up for Shipworks, you'll be partnered with one of our account executives who will consult with you and assist you with making sure that Shipworks is installed and configured for your specific shipping workflow and you'll also have access to our industry leading support team uh, we are here for you when you need us uh, thanks again for joining us today